So I showed you in a previous video um, my science uh, resources, which has a lot of the Asborn science books. And what I've done, this video is just going to be all about how I'm planning to do the next two weeks with science. So it probably is going to take two weeks because the water ones, I've written down everything out of the book and put the page numbers in so it's easier referencing for me and my husband. And I've kind of like highlighted which things I want Rosie to kind of like, I think should be more suitable for her age that we can do. So she's got that kit upstairs with the different sized um, and different shaped uh, science flasks and stuff. So uh, show how water takes the shape of what container it is in. What thinks float and sink is a good one. We did that in the bath the other day anyway. Um, I've just got her some marbles, a bag of marbles to, um, like it's raining today. Um, we're going to, choose different containers like a uh, yogurt pot uh, margarine tub and different things like that and we're going to float them on water and then add marbles and see how many it takes to <clears throat> how many it takes to sink it the skin on the water thing we might get round to but i'm not sure that's why it's not i haven't marked it but what things disappear and separating mixtures basically like if i put salt in a cup of water and stir it does the salt disappear if i put a marble in a cup of water and stir it does the marble disappear so it's like what things actually um disappear in water um taking in water so what absorbs water and rising water so things like um a towel will absorb water but like a marble won't so the marbles are going to come in handy as well um a sponge will absorb water but a plastic spoon won't those kind of things so we'll just um <clears throat> experiment doing that um frozen water so what it takes we might get around to doing that but i've just put estimate i've got seven things there and i've estimated two days to do all the experiments um magnets so what what is a magnet and what what is magnetic um pulling power with a butterfly clip pins and stuff pulling things through so see what it works through so like we might do it through um a piece of paper a piece of card and then we'll try through like a book cover a cushion her desk so we'll see what it works through. Pushing and pulling, we have the trains, and I've also bought some little magnets that all repel and attract, little blue blue and red ones. Um, finding your ways, we might make our own compasses. Um, and we might, I might take her a little on a little orienteering day out for this. Um, those are the ones for magnets. Lights and mirrors, a torch in a dark room. Can light pass through it? So things like, does light pass through this cushion? Does it pass through the material she might be wearing? A piece of paper um so that kind of thing looking in mirrors so what reflects we'll make a list of things that reflects as well um reflections we'll draw half of things and then put a mirror on it so she can see symmetry um changing reflections for like in a spoon making a kaleidoscope um making a looking around making a mirror to look behind us a periscope uh tricks of the light so like a straw in a glass is the straw straight or bent because it'll look like it's bent in the glass um and shadow and light so shadow drawing shadow theater shadow clock but that'll depend if we get the right weather to do better do shadow drawing properly i well, like i want to do it out in the sunshine anyway uh science with air air all around so have a paper race that's where you basically you flap so you flap a piece, something at a piece of paper with a fold on it and then you see who can get it across the room quickest air that pushes uh upside down trick i don't know if you've seen that but i don't want to give everything away in this video so carton she already does the blowing in through the straw blowing out like a lung. Rising air. So if you make a paper plate snake, you can make it move above a, a radiator that's on with the warm air over. Try and float a, a feather over a warm radiator. What blows in the wind? Make a weather vane. Make a boat. A rocket balloon. Windmills. Moving through the air. So what falls quicker? A pyramid pointer. And make, maybe make a parachute. Make a flying glider because that's nice and easy. Um... And sound and air, so we might make a sound catcher and do vibrations from a speaker. And then this is the hundred science thing. I've just highlighted like tricky pictures. I'll just show I'll show her the pictures, like magic eyes, balancing. Um I really want to buy her a proper scale for that, but I can't afford one right now. So it might be too late by the time we finish this. Stable structures, I'll probably give that to Daddy and her on a Friday, and I'll give them some marshmallows and some toothpicks to try and make pyramids, towers, and bridges. Um, making slime we might do and a foaming monster with bicarbonate soda and vinegar we might do the volcano creating crystals looks exciting sprouting seeds we might do on a different topic and what's in your soil I'm not sure and I want to go over solids liquids and gases with her so this is 
roughly two to three days. So this is roughly going to take about 10 days, of all of this all together, but not necessarily consecutively. This is the other thing I have for her as well. These two other things. We've got this Introducing Science 3 Plus booklet preschool sort of thing but I might save this for another time I'm not sure we might work through that otherwise this is going to be her science notebook so I've written on the front science is the process of improving our knowledge and understanding of the universe based on a collection of observation based evidence and science is a demonstrable replicable and observational process what well, the scientific method is but <clears throat> Scientists learn about their subject by observing, describing and experimenting and the steps in an experiment. So the theory, the test, the observation and then the conclusion. <clears throat> so what I've done in here is I've put some of these ready for her. Is do they sink or float? So for example, on the other page, I've done the theory of how many marbles will make till the boat sinks. So I've drawn like a yogurt pot and then she's going to put a number in, a lid, put a number in, a glass dish, put a number in, a plastic bowl, put a number in, and a conclusion, how many marbles till the boat sinks. So then she's going to put in how many actually did, and then she can compare and see if she was right. But she's going to estimate first, do the experiment, and then conclude. So I'm making her do the theory thing. This one I forgot to do this with, so she's just going to draw in what floated and what sank. Um, but I've done the same thing here. So we've got like, will the object disappear in the mix? or And did the object disappear in the mix? Uh, will, will the object absorb water, did it absorb water, and so on and so on. And I've left in case she gets carried away and wants to um, extend the experiments. So, yeah, uh, this is generally what I've got down for our science. Sorry, the video is a bit bitty. My phone is out of storage and I have to keep deleting things. Um, so, yeah, we'll light like, pass through it. But we're going to go through all these on the day and we'll either post a video each day, uh, depending how much we get done. Or we will post one every couple of days because I know people don't like to watch too long a video. So I'm going to try and keep this one short. That is my prep ready for science week. And um, yeah, I hope it helps anyone else out who's just trying to plan and start doing anything. If you don't have the books that I have, you can always go online and Pinterest them. I am on Pinterest as well, Emily Loftus, as... Um, I've, I've pinned a lot of ideas so you can always come and follow me on Pinterest and um, pinch anything off my homeschooling boards so yeah but for now it's the tar for me and tar from the Rosie Bear <laughs>